Right now, Starlink is being sold as a decentralized internet alternative, a way for rural areas and war zones to stay connected. But there's one problem. It's not decentralized at all. It's controlled by one person. In 2023, Musk personally disabled Starlink access for the Ukrainian military during a war because he didn't want to escalate tensions. Except that's not how infrastructure is supposed to work. Your ability to communicate during war shouldn't depend on one billionaire's mood that day. That's not decentralization. That's a monopoly in disguise. Now let's talk about cost. At first, Starlink was cheap, $99 a month. But once enough people signed up, prices jumped to $120 and then $150. And price hikes are just the beginning. What happens when Musk starts charging for extra for premium access? What happens when governments, especially in developing nations, can't afford it?